Welcome back to the video guys. Yesterday we looked at a breakout on gold and I showed you three ways to take targets in kind of no man's land. Today we're gonna follow up on that and talk about a topic you guys always wanna hear about, entries. Now, before we get into the video, I must warn you, there's a 73.6% chance that what I tell you today, but there's also a 74% six chance that 73 plus 74 carry the wool. Okay, so the, the, the math may be a little bit off. It's not my strong suit, but listen to today's video. See if this way of thinking is helpful to your trading. And I always say that if you can understand the markets better, it helps increase your edge. And if you can increase your edge, you can increase your profits. All right, let's hop in. Uh, something I mentioned on gold, I, I ended up doing a trading view video on this. Um, I, didn't, I didn't mention this in live room. But we mentioned, um, we did our analysis on gold yesterday. And I said that if we, if we get a retracement, I like this level right here. And this is the level that you can see kind of the most recent breakout form from. But it's, it's also interesting because let's, let's go back to this, right? And we do a little, little pop quiz here. So we know that gold is reaching a previous level of structure, right? We have this setup where the market accelerates up. And then we kind of have this thing going. So what would you classify this pattern as? What does it look like? A wedge or a rising wedge, right? And what would we, and we can pair that wedge with divergence, right? You guys see the difference between what's happening here on our wedge pattern with our highs? We have bearish divergence here. You can even take a step from, you know, even from back in this area. And you look at kind of these three levels right here in comparison to these three levels right here, we've got divergence here as well. So we've got a, a rising wedge pattern, which in its own right is a relief pattern. We've got divergence, which complements that relief pattern. We have that coming up into a previous level of structure all these are very bearish signs, right? I would love this as a bearish opportunity. I'd be like, man, rising wedge, bearish diversions, at structure, hit the sell button, baby, right? And then what we proceed to do after that Sorry, I haven't went the slowest the slowest thing. Is we break out so this was an area where we expected bears, bears, bears. Ooh, too big there. And they were defeated, right? So we know if the bears were defeated, who existed at this level? The bulls, right? The buyers, buyers, bulls, right? They were defeated, or they're the ones that defeated the bears. So you mark this down in your head. You mark you mark this down in your head as being a key level, like a, a you know, like when they do like the old History Channel things. Like this was a turning point in the war, right? This was a level that there was a battle, bulls and bears, and the bulls won. So bulls were interested in this position before. So as we kind of go back to reality here, uh, no, get out of here. As we go back to reality here, if we were to come back to this level, who do you think would be interested in this in this zone? Right? Again, it's kind of like I used to watch a lot of war movies, right? You have these war movies and it's a big battle between again, we'll do bulls and bears, where it's like, um, which side do I want to be on? It's the bears are here, and then the bulls are here, right? And the bulls defeat the bears, ah, 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 and then they claim the territory, 
right? And what happens like in a war? Do, when, when they claim the territory, do they just like leave? Or do they, they keep troops there to defend it? They keep troops there to defend it. So, and again, it's, it's a weird way of thinking. I know I'm, I'm a weirdo, okay? But it, work, it works for me as, as far as visualizing this stuff. So when I see this, I say this, this was a level that the, bear, that the bulls defended before. The bulls should try to defend this area again, right? So if the bulls are up here and they get pushed back, they should try to defend this area again because they don't want to give this area back. So this should be a key level that we look for bulls to defend. Now, here's the thing. Just because we're looking for the bulls to defend that level, does that mean that they will? And I think this is the biggest, uh, a big misconception that traders make. Where, oh, the bulls have to win. They don't have to win. We never know. We don't know what type of strength the bears are, are bringing. They could have popped the steroids, got some new weapons, and, and crushed the bulls. But we would expect a fight at that level. So that's a little bit of the inside behind kind of how I, one of the, why I chose this level in the market, right? Yes, it's the, the elephant candle, the breakout point, but a little bit of the craziness that is behind my head as well. I promise I'm not crazy or a little bit crazy. Before you go, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you check out the Trading Coach Podcast. I had a buddy of mine the other day tell me that he Google searched top trading podcast or top Forex podcast and mine popped up, which is pretty cool. It means we're doing the right thing. So we cover lots of topics over there. Three new episodes a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The Trading Coach Podcast available on your favorite podcasting app as well as right here on YouTube. All right, until next time, plan and trade, trade your plan. Take care. I'm going to go work on my my math skills a little bit. I want to be the best in the game. Invest in my name. Check no restraints. I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain. Assess and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout, and fame. Mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate. Have to play the game. Have to make a name. All our insecurities are on display.